Did you not see the comments on TikTok? Uh, Some girl commented. Not, <laughs> no, she commented, he can fix my car and my daddy issues. Come on. No, she did. You want to get me flipping open the box or no? no I'm just going to leave it open. I'm not backtracking here. We just got a set of 24 by 14 wides GT off-road rims and I'm going to attempt to mount them and balance them. Hopefully that's a plan. Um, I'm not the normal tire guy, so let's get some tires done. Yeah, I set one up on the machine just so you don't have to watch me struggle get it set up. They're going on a 2003 Chevy 2500. 2003? Yeah. I should test fit them on my truck first. Check to see if these are directional, inside, outside. They're not looking like they are. So I normally put the, the colors on the inside, which in this case would be up. Now we're just gonna put some air to it wherever my valve stem is. It helps if I took out the core earlier. I'm just gonna flip it down a bit. Life's easier. Well, I do the hard work when the machine does it for you. The machine only goes to 39 PSI. And if it's going on a Chevy 2500, like I was told, they normally run about 60 to 70 PSI. That should have stopped itself. I think they look pretty good. I'm very surprised by that. I gotta do this process three times, three more times, so it's gonna get pretty boring, so enjoy some B-roll, I guess, and enjoy your day. I use this to pop out the cap. Balancing, we're up to balancing. I'm gonna show you this once and uh, I'm not gonna do it four more times for you. I we're gonna go torque some wheels real quick. It's gonna set her to where I want it at. Did you not see the comments on TikTok? Some girl commented. Not, <laughs> no, she commented, he can fix my car and my daddy issues. No, she did. Come on. She did. You're doing a great job though, seriously. Yeah, I used to work for Ricky Bobby's pit crew. Ricky? Oh, lunch is ready, I think. Is lunch ready? Before I was rudely interrupted. He looks so happy. <laughs> I don't fucking want to be here. Hey, what did that tell you? It'll fit. Sticker's off. I'm Mr. Perfect. So, first I'm gonna peel the sticker off. Because I guess it can mess up the balancing a bit.
put the finishing touches on it and just what happens. That's how you build your set of 24 by 14 wides. <laughs> Strong back, weak mind. <laughs> I came from the mud. There's dirt on my head. Well, I'm Caleb Maltos. This is my build so far. I got uh, 24 by 14 chrome GT strikes on it. Oh, I've been running. Want me to turn the lights on? Yeah. Let's do it. I went to performance, needed some rubber, so they hooked me up with some 33, 14, 50, 24s. Super happy with them, they look great. The guy that mounted them did a great job, uh, no complaints. I looked them all over, they look amazing. Uh, they're balanced amazing, they ride great. Yeah, couldn't be happier. Went home right away, bolted them up, and uh, needless to say, it's got a lot of looks. So. That's it. Yeah, I don't know. Had the truck for four years. She's been ongoing. Uh, still not even close to what I want. What do you I don't want know. To do with it? Oh, the list is endless, man. First off, horsepower. I got a few things under the hood so far, but not even close to what I want. Looking. What have, done what have I done to it? I got 90 horse injectors, head studs, push rods, all the good stuff our uh, air intake, sorry. Uh, soon to be second gen swap manifold T4, uh, 464, uh, Warner, whatever it can get. Looking for about 600, 700 horsepower. I don't think that should be too hard. Um, Just uh, for fun truck or? Oh, she's all for fun, man. No, just to... Just, I use it for work, but I can see myself very quickly not using it for work. But no, just looking fun daily, you know. Uh, Got to keep it interesting. Well, it's a three inch rough country lift, um, dual steering stabilizers. I got uh, my buddy hooked me up with some custom track bars for the rear. I want to do a front four link at the same time or at some point. Um, got fast fuel system. Yeah, I had it painted about three years ago. My uncle, him and I, looked after the work, so pretty proud of that. Uh, yeah, got the Alpha Rex Pro Series. It's hard to think about everything you've done in your own truck. It is, no it is. <laughs> like you've when done all... When it's stretched over... Lots to think about. Yeah, I've sat down before, made a list, and I've been at the table for like an hour. Like, what the hell have I done to this thing? But, that has been a lot. A lot of little things. No, I want to do uh, Far From Stock, American. You guys need to hook us up with a Canadian dealer. But no, it's pretty good. I want to do Mishimoto Rad and stuff like that, but if, if only time and money was endless. I don't know, I'd like to keep the same height. I'm not looking for anything too tall. Um, I've thought about reverse level, taking out everything I've done so far. Um, just nice set of forces or anything forged. It's been a lot of figuring because it before there was just a black grill. Like even after I painted the truck, the grill was black. The rear bumper was chrome, um, stuff like that. And I'm like, I think I want to change 
the front grille, put the chrome slats in it, like the SLT look. Well, it is an SLT, but never come with it. And like, I think I want to paint match the rear bumper, keep it more subtle. Uh, thinking about doing the chrome flip out mirrors, but I'm trying to figure out if that's too much. The red tow hooks need to be repainted, but I'm trying to make that resemble the red that's going to be under the hood. Going to have a red turbo intake, valve cover. What? It's dirty as hell, though. I mean, it is.